Magical thoughts, all things are real unless you dream they're not. In your dreams, love is the plot carried on wings of hope. Hey there, guys! Welcome back to Let's Play Lunar Silver Star Story. So I wandered the. A lot of the forest, I did eventually, like, they just kept yelling at me, like, Oh my god, go camp! So, eventually I said, okay, fine, we'll come back here, we'll camp. So we are camping, and doesn't Nal just look adorable? It's kind of funny how everyone's still sitting up there and talking, and Nal is just like, Meow. So, I love Nal. Nal's amazing. So, anyway, we, we've we also came across a point where they said, I think the exit is here, but I can't see it. I can't find it. So, I'm guessing that this is a cutscene in order to let a boss attack us. Or They wouldn't let me leave the forest, what I'm trying to say. Um, we'll find out. I, I, I feel like after that completely lame boss fight a second ago, that this is going to be my redemption. So, uh, <laughs> I've been thinking. I'm convinced the magic's being used to conceal the exit. Between Alex and Kyle, we should have been able to find our way through. What do you mean between Alex and Kyle? Neither of us know anything about magic. I agree. There's magic in this forest. The air seems to be thick with it. On that pleasant note, let's get some sleep and start over again tomorrow. Why did you stand? Oh, you're lying back. Okay. I thought he, like, stood up in order to go to sleep, but I'm like, you're doing it dumb. I kind of wish that Kyle and Jessica weren't being made a thing. I, I kind of like them as being exes. That, like, you know, it's, uh, the fact that they're getting back together, I, I, it just seems so contrived. I, I, I almost wish that they wouldn't get back together. Kyle, the blue star looks beautiful tonight, doesn't it? I've been thinking about you. About He's fucking asleep. He's going to, like, start snoring here in a second. And what I think is, well, we should give it enough. Kyle? Yep, called it, called it from here to the heavens. Just my look, you draw like the words right in my head. Oh, well, rest well, my ignorant knight. Alex! Alex! Oh my gosh! Why is there a sheep bleeding? Did someone stab a sheep off camera? Luna. Why do I always dream of you and sheep? Oh, you can never have enough fish. It's okay, Al. Jeez. I would say there's no reason to wake right the camp, but in actuality, there kind of is. I mean, we might be under attack. I kind of called it last night if we are. Alex, what's the matter? Oh. Um, where's breakfast? You can tell that she's the mayor's daughter. Oh, hi, people I don't know. What do you mean trespassed? You guys set up this clearing to let people sleep. What are you even talking about? You guys are crazy. Why have you trespassed within the sacred forest of the prairie tribe? If you're the prairie tribe, you don't have claims on a forest, guys. I hate to break it to you. <laughs> My name is Alex. My friends and I are looking for a man by the name of Tempest. That's your chief? Then you definitely don't need to be acting to be like all high and mighty. I will like go back to sleep and like kick you to death. Temp how dare you name Chief Adrian's deception? Wait, what's that? The necklace you possess is the black dragon pendant. If our leader entrusted you with that. Well, obviously he considers you his friends, which makes you friends with the entire prairie tribe. Please, allow us to escort you to our village. I know! Well, I, at the same time, though, if these guys are like underlings of Tempest, they wouldn't have given us a good fight. Kyle, weren't you sleeping? <laughs> Not at all, I was just trying to surprise them. Besides, I can fight and sleep at the same time, I'm multi-talented. I'm really not as ignorant as you think I am, Jess. Wait, just one more fish? Has Na has Nell ever gotten a fish this entire game? I'm beginning to think that no.
I was here last night with those suspicious other colored trees. Hear our words, spirits of the forest. Hear the words of the prairie tribe in the forest for some reason. Remove from us that which shields the true path from our sight. Oh, I see. The incantation is the key to unlocking the exit. You shall not need to call out the spirits a second time. Once you, once you see the way, you cannot lose it. I had to. I don't like that meme, and I'm sorry for referencing it, but it was just, it was in my face. I, you can't, you can't ignore it when it's in your face. Well, let's follow it, just in case they were wrong. Oh, jeez. I thought this was the way to the exit. Why am I getting attacked by creature, creature, cre I cannot speak. Speaking is a thing I am bad at. So guys, as I said last time, I will see you when I get to the exit. And I think we're at the exit, guys. Thank you for your patience, which you had none of, because I cut right here. <laughs> I thought I was following you to your village. You just ditched me. So that's apparently the village. Is this a bunch of shrubbly bubblies? Okay, that's a nothing. That looked like a something. I bet that's going to be a something later. I still love the overworld theme in this game so much. It's just, it's so perfect. Hey! But then why did you invite me here? Sorry, we're not going to leave just because everyone in Pow's catching cold. People of power have always had a special relationship with the wild horses of the prairie. Using strands of horse hair to make this blanket. Some of us like to say we need a horse like the fish needs water. <laughs> well, obviously fish isn't the only thing that you eat now because you never get any fish. That also sounds vaguely sexual. Fish isn't the only thing I eat. So just got dip no, you're a cat. So many sick people in this village. There aren't enough blankets for them all. That's why we're working so fast to make more. No one's in here. Why is your village sick? Oh, please wake up. My I can't exist without your sweet touch. You can still touch him. He's also awake. He's talking. No wonder you guys are all dying. None of you understand medicine. You don't even know what consciousness versus unconsciousness is. Everyone in the Prairie Tribe was trained from birth to fight despite their gender. One of our best warriors is Fresha. She's strong as she is beautiful. I always finally remember when she spoke, broke my hand in this part. What? what? Strong and beautiful. Hey, you guys would be happy with one out of the two. I think he's having a poop. He doesn't look good to me, Mia. Perhaps we should come back and check on him later. Wow. This is why Jessica's the healer. She's like, oh, he doesn't feel good. Let's just ditch him and come back. Never seen you around these parts. Not liking strangers, never have. I think you should get out of here. I'm telling you to hold on. Wondering if you're with Magic Emperor. Waiting for an answer. Apparently was the wrong answer. Mommy, bro, I'm, uh, it hurts. Pretty lady will be kidnapped by a man in big armor. No, she said will. Jeez, everyone here is stupid. I never felt a fear. Alex, I don't think this is just a normal illness. Yeah, I, I bet it's the black dragon. I don't think willingly. Strongest warrior in the village of the prairie tribe. Dude, no, we already knew this. Holy crap. I actually thought this was Tempest's one up here. Okay. I saw the bigger tents and I was like, hmm. Hey, we'd welcome you to our village, but you're unfortunate enough to come at the great crisis. The village singer was kidnapped by the Vile Tribe. Terrible disease is spreading among us. Since so you leave before you suffer any misfortune. I'm not leaving. I'm too brave and stupid to leave. 
or the shrine access passive tree in the village in the lowest floor of the Black Dragon Fortress. The tree is strictly prohibited, not just to you, but to all the Prairie Tribe. I uh, don't know which. Uh, only the Elder of Power can be granted permission to the shrine. Yo! Let me in the shrine! The medicine I make for the village isn't helping anyone. If you want to buy some anyway, go right ahead. I'm good. Okay, I've been to that before. That brings us back to Tempest. Hello! Alex. Man, Tempest does look exactly like you guys are right. I don't know how I didn't see it before. I think I was just looking at um, his girl the whole time. Oda Pau, home of the Prairie Tribe. The first person to make us feel welcome. We noticed the necklace you gave Alex was carving the Black Dragon. We're looking for the dragon. We're wondering if you could know where he is. Indeed, the Black Dragon Fortress is our sacred ground. And protecting it is the sworn. D Wait, is his girl the one that just got kidnapped? I keep something that's important to you, Tempest. Alex, I gave you this necklace with respect to Why won't you accept it? We don't need it. We just think you're going to need it more than we do. Well, I will not take back your gift. I will hold on to it for you. Is that a fair compromise? I'm glad you came here, Alex. I enjoy your company and that of your friends as well. You should go for Paolo's the group of great evil. I think I recognize her voice. This is the voice of the dark songstress. The woman whose voice has unleashed a plague. It can't be. Kyle, I don't feel so good. Very funny. You better get up before I decide to take you to death. Jeff? Don't make me do this without a healer. I'm sorry. Jesus, I feel, now your friends are afflicted as well. Fresh has been searching for the source of the songs. Once we fight, we'll silence the songs just forever. Oh, okay. She obviously didn't get abducted. I found her. Songs are coming from inside the Black Dragon Fortress. I want her on my team. I don't want this terrible archer. Be strong. I shall find the dark songs and snap her accursed neck. Tempest is no, he's not. I. We both know this isn't true, Fresha. We both know that isn't true. She's gonna make me do this without a healer. Holy crap! Old man, I changed my mind. Send me a lot of healing items. Okay, that's a lot of healing. <laughs> Elder! Tempest went to the Black Dragon Fortress by himself? I can't believe he would forsake his duty as chief. There's an enormous magical force in the fortress. There's no way he can survive. Fine. Permission to enter the fortress is granted to you. We cannot afford to lose Tempest in advance for the Battle of the Vile Tribe that is sure to come. Maybe reckless, but he's our finest work. You guys are screwed. How do you know? Okay. Well, no monsters are here. I mean, we already know there's monsters inside the fortress, though. Not only because uh, they've told us, but because all of the dragon-like areas had monsters. 
interesting music for it, though. Haha, <laughs> you guys suck. I'm not fighting any more than I have to if I don't have a healer with me. Wow, really? The Black Dragon is not good at having sentient help. Oh, this one caught me. Are you fucking serious? These guys' names is Nipple Yanker? I see now why they wouldn't let me bring Jess. God damn, this would be an easy fight if she were here. Check this out. Ser why is their name Nipple Yanker of all things? Ah, they don't seem to like taking damage. They're not great at dealing it either, though. I mean, guys, I think Alex can solo you. Oh, damn. That does real and actual damage. They figured out who they can hurt. But that is the thing, it looks like Alex can just take this whole, like, group. He don't even care. So I'll take you all on. Slashy, slashy. Poor Kyle, though. Kyle's like, it hurts when I get hurt. Kyle's gained a level by being hurt a lot. I got a dream bow, which is awesome, except for the fact that obviously I'll be picking up an archer. Angel ring. Well, that's a bad sound. Our magic power being sucked is a trap. Interesting. Who's that? Is it? Uh, Tempest. Your time is perfect. I've never seen monsters like the, the walls of the Black Dragon Fortress. Police Sanctum has been described by the Black Songstress. By Galleon. The evil slug slime trails all over this place. For I thought it was to a boss, I was very concerned. Why can't I give that to Tempest? Is Tempest inventory full? No. I'm very confused. Give item. Is he not my friend yet? I was going to say, that guy is not what I'll be able to get away with. He actually, like, attacks me head on. See if luck if this is effective. Okay, arrow attack, wind attack. Check this out. Well, he's faster than Kyle, or faster than Nash, and that's kind of surprising. 
I did not expect that to be the case. Okay, they don't like lightning. Well, then this will be pretty easy. I just gotta keep Nash flush with magic. And I've got enough stuff that I should be able to do that pretty easy. Hey, man. Well, these guys again, these little blob of deads. Hello, blob of deads. I'm gonna make you a blob of even more deads. I wonder if he does more damage if he's farther away. Signs point to no. Alright. See you later, losers. That was mean. I shouldn't call them losers. It's not their fault they're terrible. Okay, another one of those. Let's go ahead and save. If I run to the boss unexpectedly, I'm going to be in for a world of hurt. But as long as I can, like, actually use, you know, items and get my mana back before the final fight, I should be fine. Like, I'm not going to reload a save and make myself not have run into that guy. Because that's lame. Uh-oh, Nash may not have enough to actually... He does not. Check this out. That still is a lot of damage. It won't get them down to one-shot range, but... It sh I should still be able to take him out, I would think. We'll find out. Yep. Good job, Alex. This has nothing to do with what we're like, actually doing in the game, but I'll tell you something that's a little bit tragic, at least for me. Um, so, I had a co-caster uh, named Kyle that I you know, did a lot of things with, and Kyle's great. He's a good friend of mine. Unfortunately, obviously, I, whenever I moved out to New York, I had to leave him behind. His girlfriend was named Jessica, which was kind of cool. Um, and unfortunately, they s broke up pseudo recently. And it's just, it's a little bit extra, uh, to have someone that, you know, this is working perfectly for them. And then, they're, you know, it's like, oh, this isn't, uh. I don't know what these Hellraisers are, but I'm just going to try and kill them until they die. Okay, they definitely don't like magic. Well, that was easy. I just pressed the easy button. Excellent, they hit Alex with it. That's great. Everybody shoot. Okay, just one of you shoot. A, because it died, and B, because none of the rest of them have ranged weapons. Here's this guy again. He's gonna come try and nom on my face, and I'm gonna say, you can't nom on my face. I do love that his name is Slice of, Slice of Dead. Like, all of the, uh, the only name I really think is weird and stupid is freaking Nipple Twister. I still don't know what the hell is going on with that. We found out last time that I don't actually need to use that much um, magic. So I won't. So there. Check this out. I will check it out, Nash. We've been doing the whole game, though. I'm not going to be that impressed. Uh-oh. I might actually get to see one of them attack. What you gonna do? You're gonna pierce me with your eyes. Oh no, I'm muted! Whatever will I do? Oh, I'll use basic attacks and kill you. Okay. Glad we figured that out. I'm so 
Kershaw's a jerk. <laughs> Look, here's this poor guy. He's outnumbered. He's trying to do the only thing he can. And what, what do I do? I mock and belittle him. Oh, and there's another one. So, guys, um, next time I will see you when I get to the Black Dargan. Because that's where I'm going. I, I, I said because, like, I had some great, like, into that sentence, and then I just didn't. But regardless, I will see you when I get there. Um, this will be the last of the dragon trials. Let's see if we actually get to fight a dragon this time. Up until now, it's made total sense I didn't get to fight the dragon, but I kind of, I mean, no, I'm, I'm an adventurer. I want to I fight a dragon. See you next time, guys.